Unlocking your phone every single time you pull it out of your pocket can get kind of annoying, but it's important to have some security method on your phone to prevent people from getting into things you don't want them to. Smart lock is a way that you can have the best of both worlds. Let's show you how to do it. Smart lock is a feature that first appeared on Motorola phones, but now it's pretty much in any Android phone, Android 5.0 and above. And what it does is it basically allows you to tell your phone certain situations where you don't need the lock screen to be on. And so it's gonna be a little different setting this up on uh, every phone, but for the most part, this is how you're gonna do it. So first, before you can use smart lock, you need to have some sort of uh, security method. So you're going to go into settings and security and choose a screen lock. I have a pattern set. That is my go-to. You can use a pin or a password. You can also use your fingerprint, but even the fingerprint requires one of these as backup. So you're going to want to make sure you have one of these set. After that, you can go to smart lock, which will usually also be in the security section. You're going to have to enter your password to get in. And here are the different types of smart locks that you can choose. So you got on body detection. That's going to use the accelerometer to detect if your phone is on your person. So like in your pocket, in your hand or in a bag. And if it detects that, it'll disable the lock screen. Trusted places is pretty self-explanatory. If you're in a certain location that you can choose, so like your house or maybe work, you can have the lock screen disabled. Trusted Devices allows you to disable the lock screen when you have uh, something like a smartwatch or a Bluetooth speaker connected. Trusted Face uses a front-facing camera to detect your face, and if it does detect it, it will unlock the phone automatically. And then Trusted Voice allows you to use the OK Google command even when the lock screen is on. Now setting up any of these is actually very simple. So we'll go into Trusted Devices as an example. All you have to do is follow the instructions that it gives you. I already have my Pebble Time connected as a trusted device, but if you wanted to add a new one, just hit Add Trusted Device, and then you can do a Bluetooth or an NFC device. And so I would just go Bluetooth. It's going to look for the device, and it will find it, and then you can add it. Very simple. Adding a trusted place is pretty much the same thing. So we're going to go into here. We're going to click Add Trusted Place. And then it's going to give you a map and you can zoom in wherever you want. So let's say I live in this random park here. Okay, select that location. Give it a name. And now whenever I'm there, the last screen is going to be disabled. So that's how you set these up. Uh, whenever you go into one, it's going to give you instructions on how to do it. It's very self-explanatory and very easy to do. And once you have these set up, you'll no longer have to unlock your lock screen every single time you take your phone out. If you're somewhere where it's unnecessary, you won't have to deal with it. So that's a quick way to get the best of both worlds, having a secure lock screen and also avoiding the hassle of constantly unlocking it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.